Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we're going to list the 10 times late night hosts couldn't hold back tears. But before we begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Number 1. Ellen DeGeneres while The Ellen DeGeneres Show has come under fire in recent months for allegations of toxic workplace culture, it has provided more memories than we can count over the course of 18 seasons. On the show, she has shed a few tears during emotional scenes. Ellen broke down in front of her audience in 2003 when she revealed that a rescue dog she'd given to her hairdresser's family had been taken away. Ellen also had a monologue with balancing tears in January 2020 when the tragic news of Kobe Bryant's death broke. She urged the audience to rejoice in life because it is fleeting. Number 2. Steve Harvey Comedian Steve Harvey has had an incredible career. His success story is littered with adversity, such as homelessness and crippling debt. The streets where Steve Harvey grew up was named after him in honor of his 58th birthday. The scene which aired on the show was too much to bear. Steve Harvey, accompanied by his wife Marjorie, stood by as ETH 112th Street was renamed Steve Harvey Way. The 15th of January 2015 was also designated as Steve Harvey Day. Number 3. Jimmy Kimmel Jimmy Kimmel makes his audience laugh when he isn't fueling his faux feud with Matt Damon. However, there are some difficult scenes on the show. Kimmel's hometown of Las Vegas was the site of a tragic mass shooting in 2017, just a year after the tragic Orlando nightclub massacre. Kimmel, whose voice was helpless, was overcome with emotions during his speech, which highlighted the importance of effective gun control. Number 4. Kelly Clarkson Kelly Clarkson got her own talk show in 2019, which she's very proud of. She, on the other hand, is a self-described crier who makes fun of herself. During a yearly recap, Kelly mentioned several times on the show when she couldn't stop crying. She was surprised by how many times her guests moved her to tears. She said, I mean, I cry a lot on the show. Number 5. Stephen Colbert Stephen Colbert interviewed legendary singer Dolly Parton in October 2020. She was promoting her book, Song Teller, My Life and Lyrics on the show. The book is about her life, the songs she wrote, and the state of mind in which she wrote them. When Dolly Parton started singing, Stephen Colbert burst into tears and had to wipe them away with a napkin. Parton, who was in the middle of the song, noticed and pointed it out, but continued singing. Number 6. Janine Mai The 2018 The Real co-host Janine Mai had a public breakdown while discussing her broken marriage. Her ex-husband, Freddie Hartis, left her wondering if she even knew him. Janine said as her The Real co-hosts Tamara Maori and Lonnie Love gave her much needed support. We're not talking about a couple of years, we're talking about 10 years. Number 7. Megan McCain Megan McCain returned to The View after a sabbatical in 2018 following the death of her father John McCain, who served as Arizona senator for 30 years. She burst into tears during the emotional moment. Whoopi Goldberg rose from her seat to embrace her. Megan thanked each of the co-hosts for their support during the difficult time, and she said, We are all sisters. We got each other. Number 8. The Oprah Winfrey Show Oprah Winfrey is understanding. It's in her dedication to charity and compassion, all motivated by the mantra that has kept her going. All pain is the same. When she was demoted as a news anchor in Baltimore, she discovered her calling on a talk show, answered the call, and built an empire. She was emotional throughout the interview with Mrs. Duncan, her fourth grade teacher who believed in her and let her lead devotion in 1989. Number 9. Jimmy Fallon The world awoke in January 2020 to the sad news that Kobe Bryant had died, Fallon said on the show. Kobe was such a life force, so strong and creative and inspired, that in my head I thought he was going to live forever. He went on to describe how they met, when they were both just starting out in their careers. Every time they saw each other after that, they'd make jokes about that night. Though he tried to remain composed, Fallon was clearly moved, and he concluded his tribute by saying, Kobe, when we meet again, we're going on a beer run. Number 10. Larry King Not all tears are sad tears, sometimes a joke hits so close to home that tears are unavoidable. That's exactly what happened when Larry King invited comedian Don Rickles to Larry King Live, whom he'd known for 25 years. John started off light with Larry already chuckling and built up throughout the laughter-filled interview. Larry had to take a commercial break to wipe away his tears, proving that laughter truly is the best medicine. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.